love, love me do You know I love you I'll always be true So please Love me do Whoa, love me do Someone to love Somebody new Someone to love Someone like you Love, love me do You know I love you I'll always be true So please Love me do Whoa, love me do Hi guys, this is how to play Love Me Do by The Beatles. Now, I filmed an easier version of this song with capo second fret and using the chords E and A. And that was specifically for level one of my beginner's course to give you guys a song you can play and get a bit of structure going. But this is a way we can play it with no capo and it allows us to play the someone to love part, which we couldn't play in the song before and now we can. Basically, we needed a third chord and we're playing it with totally different chords now, but we've got three chords. We have a G major, a C add 9, which is a variation on a normal C chord, and a D major. So I'm playing this with a four-fingered G, so with my third and little finger down, I call it a big G. C add 9 is just with your first two fingers down a string from that G. And then we just got a normal D chord and we can play this whole song which was one of the Beatles first hits. So we're going to get you into a close up now, but just for a second, OMG, Andy Guitar now has t-shirts available on andyguitar.co.uk. These won't be for everyone, but if you have been following the channel for a little while, you'll know that people actually donate now and support the channel. You can do that from uh, the main subscribe page down below. But also, I've made some t-shirts available, including this one, because I want to give you guys an opportunity to support the channel, but actually get something extra for your money as well. I think these ones are pretty cool. We've just got the website in really small here, but it's mainly about the logo. They're really good quality. Check that out if you wish, but you don't have to. We're going to get in for a close-up right now. So let's just have a quick close-up on these chords for Love Me Do, so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, we have a G chord, which I nickname a big G, because we have our third and little finger down first of all. And then we're going to move first and second finger down a string, and we strum from string five then. And that gives us our C add nine, which is a much easier C chord to go to when we're changing between G and C, which we're going to be doing for the majority of this song. Just a quick demo. Love, love me do You know I love you And as well as it being an easier change, it sounds quite nice as well, but it does stop us having to go all the way for that, that C chord there. So, we want two strums of each chord if we're strumming along with the lyrics. Love, love me do And we can do this to get a feel for the song. You'll always be true. And once we've had three lines of the song, we just stay on that C chord for a little longer. So, love, love me do. First line. You know I love you. Second line. I'll always be true. That's the third line, so we stay on the C chord. So, C. And then there's a pause. There's an actual mute. It's four strums of a C. Three, four, mute, and then we go back to doing the G, C little routine again. Whoa, love me do. So let's have a go through that little routine. If you have done the first video with the E and the A chord, this should be familiar for you, the structure at least, but we've got these new chords. So let's have a go from the G chord from the top in two, three, four. Love, love me do That's a G to C at 9 G, C at 9 Stay on the C So C, 2, 3, 
or mute. Then we start from the G again on do. Love me do to the C add nine and just alternate G to a C. And any time that they're not singing or there's the harmonica playing, da 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 you just go through those two chords. Pretty straightforward. If we can, let's accelerate this strumming and make it sound a bit cooler. Let's go for four strums per chord. So one, two, three, four, C, two, three, four. And you can just strum all the strings. However, if we strum just the thicker strings on the first strum and then everything on the second one, so one, two, three, four, basically the root note of the chord and then go down for everything, it sounds really cool. It's going to sound really elevate everything. And rather than picking out a single string, certainly this for this C add nine, I've actually got my thumb on the top, which some people will be cool with, some people that may be new for, but when you're playing the C add nine, if you've got that thumb on the top, it really saves your bacon with this right hand. It means you don't have to pick a single string. You can hit the thicker ones or thicker couple of strings and this thicker one doesn't ring out and make it sound all nasty okay so let's go for the same thing with this new strumming pattern quick demo love love me do you know I love you and we're doing what I was doing in the intro of the video let's give it a go after four in a one two three for love, love me do You know I love you I'll always be Stay on the C chord For one, two, three, four And mute your guitar Like this Start from the G again Love me do To the C Whoa Love me do now let's go through that whole routine one more time. I'll go a little bit slower for the people who couldn't keep up. And then we're going to do the bridge bit. So I want to love, but we're going to stick with this one more time. Exactly like that. In a one, two, three, four. Love, love me, C. It's a G to a C. One last time. I'll always be true. Stay on that C chord. So C. And mute. Love me G to a C. Whoa, love me do. And then we have the someone to love section that we couldn't do before, but now we can because we have an extra chord, and that chord is a D chord. This section goes someone to love, somebody new. And it's that same thing again. One to love someone like you. So we have two bars of the D. If I just strum this on the beat. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, C, add nine. Back to a G. The same as that again. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, C, add nine. Back to G. Let's give that a go together, nice and slow, just full strumming's fine, but if you want to do the, what I call Bob Dylan strumming as well, that'd be great. You want to ideally hit the D root note, but you can just do thicker strings, everything, as long as you got your thumb on top. Let's give it a go. In a one, two, three, four, someone to love, C at nine, C back to G. Someone to love, someone, it's a D chord. And C add nine, back to G, and stop. If you listen to the record, you'll hear that. Somebody do, boom. And then it goes back to love, love me do. Um, so let's go through that whole routine from someone to love, and then we're going to go straight for love, love me do, straight back onto that, okay, on the end of it. So get ready from this D chord. In one, two, three, four, someone to love, C at nine, 
sing back to G. Someone, it's a D chord. And sing back to G. And stop, love, love me do. You know I love you. I'll always be true. So please, two, three, four, stop. Back to G and C. Love me do. Whoa, love me do. So that's the full proper way how to play Love Me Do by the Beatles. Do check out any of these songs if you're liking what I do, you like this lesson and you want some similar songs and you can subscribe below and of course t-shirts are now available at the website if you want to check out some more guitar puns. I hope to see you guys again, take care of yourselves and bye for now.